Hello to your subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidenerd here. In this video, we are going to take a look at a simple example that tells you guys exactly how parameterized constructors and constructor overloading works. And we'll also talk about how to fix that small issue which we saw in the previous video which you guys are probably not so clear about. So here I have my class Vivs main inside NetBeans and then there's a simple class person which has nothing great just a string first name a string last name and an int age so at this point if I go here and I simply try to create an object by saying person person is new person you know very well that the default constructor is gonna be called and that default constructor need not be defined inside our class this is what we already discussed because Java already provides this default constructor that is gonna set null values for all these things except the integer so now let's make our parameterized constructor. I'm going to go here, say person. This constructor is going to take three arguments. I'm going to say string f, string l, and int h. I'm going to say int a over here. At this point, I can directly say first name should be equals to f, last name is l, and h equals a. And that takes care of something. Now as soon as you do this, there is a sweet little error over here and as you guys notice it says constructor person and class cannot be applied to given types reason actual blah 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 in other words what it is saying is that this default constructor is not found here anywhere remember when you create your own parameterized constructor you should also provide a default constructor if you want to use your app like this I'm gonna say person over here just put uh, empty brackets over here and now it has absolutely no problems with any code errors right so here inside this constructor I can probably set default values by saying person first name is null then I can probably say last name equals null and I can also say age equals minus one or something like this it's completely your call what values you wanna give over here but make sure that you give some sensible values over here because every object that uses the default constructor is gonna have the same starting values so now at this point let's put a simple system.out.println and see exactly what is happening. I'm going to say default constructor is called over here and inside the second one I'm going to go here and simply say system.out.println and we can also put another print statement that prints all the values out. So I'm going to go here I'm going to say system.out.println so let me write the values inside that are going to be printed. So at this point I have printed the values of the default constructor inside after they have been initialized. Same way I give the values first and then I have printed it out. So let's run this program and try to see what happens. I'll say control S shift F6 and as you guys notice here it says default constructor called over here. But now if I go down here and I say person U equals to new person and at this time if I go and give the appropriate parameters that we guys wanted to vote want to see so I'm going to say vibs over here then I want to supply the stress second integer as something like slide nerd over here and the third one as an integer by saying something like 20 over here and let's see what happens control s shift f6 if you guys notice this time both the constructors are called the first one person equals to new person will match with this constructor that takes no arguments hence this statement over here runs which says default constructor was called here and then it prints first name last name and age which are null null minus one now the second time when you say person u is new person what happens this time is that this statement gets executed over here it says parameterized constructor called here and there's webs over here slider and 20 over here so that means things are working perfectly so what about that small issue that I was talking here actually let me make another constructor here that will illustrate this issue clearly I'm gonna make another single constructor that only takes the first name I'm gonna say string f over here and this one is gonna give the value of first name equals to something like mr plus f over here the last name is gonna be null in this case and the other one age is also gonna be equals to minus one in this case so in this case let's see what exactly happens let me put the same parameterized system dot out dot print in here that says parameterized constructor with one argument called here and then there's again these three fields that I'm gonna simply print out here and now let's go up and modify things now this statement that says person person is new person here I'm gonna pass the value Anki over here and as you guys notice 
this statement is gonna say okay find a constructor person that takes a string argument and it is right here right that string argument so this statements are gonna run so let's see this in action control s shift f6 and as you guys notice the parameterized constructor with one argument is called here and then it says mr. Anki null and minus one now let's try to put the same values here in the second constructor I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say Anki slide node and 20 at this point so at this point if I run this by saying shift f6 notice carefully the first name is mr. Anki when you call this constructor but it is only Anki when you call this constructor with three arguments that means the name the value of the first name is differing at both places which means it is not consistent hence what I'm gonna do is very simple I'm gonna remove all these statements and now carefully notice what I say I'm gonna simply say this over here I'm gonna pass the first name that we got the second argument which is gonna be our last name I'm gonna pass it as null here the third argument age I'm gonna pass it as minus one over here and that's all I'm doing in other words what I'm trying to do is I'm saying that hey if you find only the first name guy give this first name to this guy who takes three arguments and this is gonna call the above constructor here that takes three arguments again there is a direct match F the first name null the last name minus one the age at this point all these statements are again gonna run now let me show you that in action as well let me maximize this output window over here so at this point we have the person person is new person Anki over here and the second one which says Anki comma slide dot comma 20 so let's see what happens control s shift f6 and as, as you guys notice the first statement over here goes down all the way to call this person object over here but this person actually says this f null minus one in other words we are trying to call this constructor above directly from the third constructor and hence the system dot out dot println carefully says parameterized constructor called here you notice that then there is Anki there is null there is minus one at the same time if you go up and see the second statement here which says person u is new person with Anki slide node and 20 it says string string integer who is the constructor that has that it's this guy string string integer so execute all these statements inside that constructor hence again parameterized constructor called here then it says Anki and slide node and 20 in other words the statement this f null minus 1 serves as a way to call this constructor over here and this is one of the ways you can use the this keyword now I'll be talking a lot more about the this keyword in the upcoming videos here the reason for me to show you this was you want to ensure that the constructor values assigned to the instance variables remain the same no matter which constructor you're calling and that is the whole point behind this thing so hopefully you guys have understood something about consistency and constructors if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day